The Galactic Free Press Update. The powerful month of November. Here we are. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. As we shared in our last update, November is going to be an extremely powerful energetic month. Yeehaw! We have many powerful days ahead of us, beginning with more intense portal openings, trifold, with a new moon and our first of two eclipses this month. Our next portals will be the 11-7, the 11-9, and the 11-11. Through each of these portals, we will triple intensify the love energy, which will then be magnetized also by the eclipse and new moon supermoon on the 13th of November. Quoted from Lena Stevens. November 13th, New Moon, Solar Eclipse, Supermoon at 3.08 p.m. Mountain Time. Eclipses always support change. This is a supermoon that supports major change through shifting of the assemblage point, both personally and on the planet. End of quote. Quoted from Maline LaFont. There are many things about to occur in a very short time, and they are fully ready to come to pass. After the activation of numerous portals, and after the cleanup of many negative and lower human thought forms and creations, the time has come for a firm creation, which will take on enormous proportions. The next big portal on November 11th has a lot to do with this as well as the subsequent portals, including, of course, some minor ones. Prepare yourselves, as the real work commences now, closely followed by the greater works that will be done in a much more conscious way than you all were used to. Also, in this regards, all will occur in a short amount of time. There is still much that has to occur, and things appear to follow persistently, but nothing is what it seems. Despite appearances, all will go smoothly and in a most harmonious way together with the earth. It is the process of Mother Earth, and it is your process as well, as you are her children, who will guide this most carefully and who will assist wherever possible. You are in this together, and provided that you have undergone many preparations, and provided that you have felt and undergone many personal changes, and provided that you have expressed lots of love for yourself and for each other, this whole process will evolve beneficially according to the eternal divine plan of our I Am Supreme Creator, Presence of the Light. End of quote. These incoming energies are intended to put a final end to the old paradigm. The denser energies will not be able to withhold the intensity of this incoming light, and this is just the bottom line. These are powerful manifestation energies, which are assisting us in powerful ways in manifesting heaven on earth equal heart right before our eyes, if, in fact, your eyes are open. Quoted from Lucas. Follow the vibes is the new sticky post New sticky post-it on your computer. These incoming energies are arriving in comp complex ways to clear, to free, to awaken, to transform, to be building blocks, to heal it all. And those energies have been coming in the last five weeks in even shorter intervals and intensity. The integration is not yet complete, and the next wave is coming in. The new paradigm is forming, is of beauty and of real love. I am personally seeing glowing auras surrounding everything. Also, I observe people seeing more clear and having clarity in expressions. I see new things like color schemes that are not even yet existing, and I hear of people coming out of their shells and breaking out of it all. For myself, I know I'm a transmitter, transformer, and amplifier of energies. These energies are channeled through me to others surrounding me, but also via my words and actions, I transmit those energies. I try to be <clears throat> as authentic in all as I can and full in my heart. I see the beauty of all in the now in me and surrounding me. Every little thing is in itself a beautiful creative idea manifested. This is what we can do with our real unconditional love and our focus on a childlike freedom to be without any boundaries, exploring experiencing, imagining, creating, and manifesting. The month of change and development is now in full swing. It is like the singing bowls that vibrate their tones of love frequencies and resonate with all. See, you're not alone. See the singularities. 
the synchronicity surrounding you, and feel what it does to you and with all. It is the energy of change. Take up your task with us and with us all in manifesting, and changing all for the better of mankind and Mother Earth in the now in full oneness. Be one, and be the change. And then we say, Welcome to your new reality. It is real, and it's no illusion. End of quote. More and more love beings are now feeling protected and embraced in the light of love and are stepping up and forward, declaring peace on Earth Equal Heart. This is creating the most powerful energy which is swirling around the planet. This is an energy which has not been here for over 13,000 years, which is expanding into more brightness every single moment. This has now become contagious and is the driving energy which has now come into existence for this planet. Planet-wide peace is the living prayer in each and every human being with a beating heart. The door of love is open, and the love is pouring forth. From now on, love will occur in grander and grander ways. Once the door is open, it's open, and it cannot be shut. This is now what has occurred for everybody on this entire planet. If you can see and feel the bigger picture now occurring on the planet, it will be very obvious to you that love is truly at the forefront. We are on an upward spiral, and we are bringing the planet with us into the present moment of now. This is where love is everywhere present, and true love manifests. For the past five years of our mission behind the scenes, each year we experienced very powerful light-filled expansion months in November and December. These months are very significant, as both Father God and I's birthdays fall in these months, and is also our five-year anniversary and connection in this physical realm after 19 billion years of separation. We had a 1 and 6.5 billion chance to find each other and complete the circle on planet Earth, which would ignite the unified field on the planet. We succeeded. Father God and I connected on November 29, 2007, which is 11-11-11, uh, one day before my birthday, and I was able to manifest a ticket to be with him within 19 days of our initial connection. On December 17, 2007, which is an 11-9, which was one day after Father God's birthday, I landed in Colorado with him. His first words to me, after getting off the escalator, with his hands on his hip, saying to me, It's been 19 billion years, where have you been? I quickly, in shock, said, Well, I'm here now. And we hugged and kissed. This was actually the beginning of first contact, and the flame in which ignited the awakening of humanity. This is why the Hopis called us the Great Grandfather and Spider Woman, or Great Spirit and Great Grandmother. We have now entered the moments for the prophesied 2012. The new paradigm <clears throat> is upon us and will be manifesting quickly in this powerful energy. This means the old will be dissolving rapidly as well. November's energy will catapult us very quickly into joy and we will enter the magical December. Lot, a lot is happening, so stay tuned. Decreed by heaven, we have entered the prophesied period of 2012. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission, in all love is unconditionally, we are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.